So this video is still on vectors on vector spaces and we are now on norm or length of a vector. We just introduced the concept of real Euclidean end space in the previous video. Now that we have a notion of what a norm is, let us say we have a vector. I don't know. My traditional lack of imagination for the, this sort of stuff. So you will be a vector in R3, right? So question, what is the norm of U? Well, let us see what the, I, I prefer not to use the square root here now. Okay. So you, the, the length of you is going, u squared is going to be one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. And that's nothing but one squared plus two squared plus three squared, right? So 9, 10, 14, right? So the norm of vector u, this time I did not forget this. I made it on purpose. I'm going to put the square root here, okay? So the length or the norm of u is square root of 14. If you have a vector in any other space that will be the same. Let us say minus 1, 2, minus 3, 4. So the idea will be the same. This will be minus 1 squared, right? Plus 2 squared, plus minus 3 squared, plus 4 squared, okay? So then you do, you calculate all this, and then this will be the length or the norm of vector v, okay, where v is a vector in R4. Okay, now we introduce a very important concept, we are going to use it a lot the concept of unit vector. So we say that a vector, so this is the definition of a unit vector. We say that the vector is a unit vector if the norm of the vector is one, okay? That is the same as saying that you times u in a product u equals 1. This is a unit vector. So the length of the vector is 1. Okay. So uh, if you have a vector here, okay, this vector might have a, it will have its length, okay, but you have a vector here, more or less here, and if the distance, if the distance here is, so the, the length of u is 1, this one will be a unit vector, okay? So this vector might have the same uh, direction as the big U, might have the same direction, and everything will be the same, you see, but the length of u is bigger, okay? And sometimes we prefer to work with, with this small one, okay, of length one. So we call this a unit vector. 